level because we have always seen that we have so many versions like html 2 html 3.2 we are xhtml but why we have so many differences between them so let's come across with the different reasons that we have so many versions first we had the version of html 2.0 which was released in november 1995 it is the classic version of html in this we had a lacking point that we were not able to align all the attributes in a proper manner so then the next major release was html 3.2 Prior to this, we had HTML 2.0, but it was never completed, hence never implemented. HTML 3.2 was released in January 1997, which was understood by all the browsers, which was its key point, and so it was very easier for all of us to make our HTML pages on this version because it supported. all the browsers which we have come across till now then we had html 4.0 html 4.0 it was one of the best uh, version for the html because it, it it was just an html application which had some additional features it supported tables it for it supported forms it supported css styling which we will be studying in coming topics then we had html 4.01 it was released in december 1999 and it is the current official version for html because it is some it is actually considered as a standard version for html then we had x html 1.0 XHTML, which is extensible HTML, it was released in January 2000, and it is a more stricter version of HTML. And the key point was we were able to make transition from HTML to XHTML, that is extensible markup languages, and it has its own applications. Then we had HTML5. HTML5 it was released in January 2008 and it's the draft version of HTML which is which has the syntax which is quite similar to those of the HTML applications well that's all for today for more updates stay tuned to intellilearn.com